Hi there, my name is Tariq and today tutorial I will explain to you how to use the serial communication interface with the Delfino Launchpad. The serial communication is usually called a new art. In this tutorial I will show you how to configure the serial communication interface for 16 byte FIFO, first in first out, to send and receive data in a real time communication. I'm also developing an application using c -sharp and Visual Studio. The idea is to be able to communicate with the host computer. Send command from the host computer to ask the DSP measured signal like current, voltage, temperature and other physical value. This user interface will be used for all my coming tutorials. The C2000 Delfino Launchpad contain three serial communication interface model. Any model can be used independently. This launchpad contains a serial communication interface maxed with the g interface. We don't need any other card to be connected to the launchpad to send and receive data. In the launchpad documentation and schema, the GTAC interface makes a serial communication connected to the pin 43 and 42 GPIO. So the only thing we have to do is to configure the pin with the serial, serial communication interface A. In this diagram, you could notice that the SA and the serial communication interface model is connected to the GPIO MAX via the SCE TX and the SCE RX. Both pins could be used as GPIO if not used for serial communication interface. The serial communication interface model could generate an interrupt for reception and transmission to the CPU. In this picture, the RX interrupt and the TX interrupt are connected to the CPU via the peripheral interrupt expansion. The SAE model is clocked by sysclock and could operate independently. In this tutorial, I will configure the serial communication interface to use the FIFO for sending and receiving data. Only reception will be demonstrated in, the, in this example. The interrupt transmission will be commented. The FIFO will trigger an interrupt if the reception receive if the reception buffer FIFO receive 60 bytes of data. The baud rate is calculated by the equation shows in the SCE baud rate register description. The LSP clock is the serial communication interface clock. This clock is by default sys clock divided by 4. And you could change this uh, value by setting the LOSPC register. The LOSPC uh, register has three bits used to choose the division ratio. You could remark that the default value on reset is system clock divided by 4. The project has more additional folders. Each folder has a multiple file header file and source files. In the DRV uh, GPIO.C file, I am configuring the GPIO for LED blue and LED red and the second function I am configuring ERX and TX for serial, com serial communication, communication interface A. In the second folder DSP DRV serial SAE serial communication interface. There is another file, the SPDRV serial communication interface.c, and in this folder, there is a function. This function will configure the serial communication interface A with the FIFO buffer. The size of this buffer will be 60 bytes. In the main uh, file.c, I am allowing two interrupts to come to the CPU. The first one will be the interrupt when the, the buffer of the FIFO first in first out of the serial communication interface will be 4. And the second one, the second interrupt is the interrupt for timer 0 and will this, this interrupt will come each 
100 microseconds. So I'm calling the two function to to init the, the serial configuration interface to configure GPIO for LED, for LEDs. Sorry, to configure LEDs here and uh, configure pin uh, for Erex and TX in this function. After after the uh, the initialization of the GPIO in this when when the interrupt reception will come in this function I will store all the the FIFU all the FIFU uh, data to a local buffer this buffer is declared in this file and when the interrupt will come all the data I have in the FIFU buffer will be stored in this uh, in this uh, in this local buffer and I will uh, set a flag to true and this flag I will will be used in the second interrupt to reply to the computer the second interrupt for the timer zero when the interrupt will come every 100 microseconds I will toggle the two LEDs with a different frequency and I will check if the if I have received the data from the PC I will echo this data back to the computer so I will loop to 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 the local buffer I will read it and I will send all the data coming from the computer back to the computer in the experiment part of this tutorial I will show you how to debug this project I will show you how to load the program, debug and add variables to the watch expression window. So first, go to view and target configuration. View target configuration. So when the window of the target configuration show up, click launch, launch uh, selected configuration. So in this window, I have already added the variables to the watch expression, but in your case, you will uh, you have to do that. And to do so, click on this buffer, right, and add to the watch expression. You have also added this variable to make sure that your code is running. So these two uh, variables we will need. And click this uh, continuous uh, refreshing uh, button. Connect the CPU to the GTAG uh, interface by clicking Connect Target. Connect the CPU to the GTAG interface by clicking click, right click and connect uh, target. When the, the device is connected to this uh, Code Composer Studio, click Run and load load the program and the browse to the, the dot out uh, file in the Project Explorer. Okay, so when the code uh, in the program uh, has been uh, loaded to the to the CPU, click the click the resume button or F8. So now the the program is running and we can see that the interrupts are coming and the the counter uh, the counter is incre incrementing. To verify the sending and receiving sequence, I am using a terminal for repetitive sending and receiving. The terminal will, be, will, will send 16 bytes to the DSP and the DSP should send it back to the terminal. So here this is the terminal I am using and this terminal is configured depending on the speed I have set in my code. In my project so if I click here this is the XDS uh, connector with the, the launchpad uh, board and this is the board rate I set for 8 bit da data no parity and one stop bit this speed is the same speed I am using in my in my uh, projects so what I will do I will click OK and uh, connect the terminal to the DSP and will click send now when I, uh, I send the sequence the sending sequence is in blue and the, the replying is in red so if I click there is two seconds I am using this is the first one 60 uh, 60 bytes and uh, the second one uh, is the just the opposite so 
if I click loop infinitely and I click start, now here the DSP will receive data and will uh, send it back to, to, to the terminal. This is the end of this tutorial. Please uh, find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video at least what was interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.